Hey gamers, imagine running PlayStation 3 games flawlessly on your smartphone. Well, today I've installed the Olympus PS3 emulator on my Redmi 13 Pro 5G, powered by the Snapdragon 7 Gen 2. How does it perform with legendary titles like The Last of Us or God of War? Is it the breakthrough emulator we've been waiting for? Stick around, because I'll show you the setup process, gameplay tests, and pro tips to maximize performance. Let's see if this emulator delivers next-gen PS3 gaming on Android. Olympus is a brand new PS3 emulator inspired by RPCS3, and it allows you to play PlayStation 3 games on mobile devices. This will be a complete A to Z of Olympus PS3 emulator from installation, setup, configuration, add games, and control setup. Unfortunately, Olympus only supports high-end processors and requires at least 12 gigabytes of RAM. For the minimum requirements, you'll need a Snapdragon 8 Gen series or equivalent. That's pretty demanding. I'm not sure I can even fulfill those requirements. Now that your device is ready, it's time to download the Olympus emulator. We need three elements to download, the Command, Termux, and Termux X11 apps. You can find these from any site or our Discord server. Another important element is the PlayStation 3 firmware, which I will show you later. After downloading all these elements, we will install and set up the Olympus emulator. First, install the Termux and Termux X11 applications simultaneously. If you encounter any warnings from Android, just ignore them. Launch the Termux app and grant the necessary permissions for notifications. Next, we need to execute a command to start the installation. This command is in my notes. Simply copy it, return to Termux, long press to paste the command, and press Enter. Termux will begin installing the necessary packages, which typically takes 5 to 10 minutes. Ensure you have an active internet connection during this step, as it is required for downloading essential files. Additionally, press Y whenever prompted to confirm actions. Once the installation completes and you see the prompt on your screen, Screen, it means we are almost finished. Now we need to use another command to launch the Olympus emulator. Keep in mind that every time you reopen Termux, you'll need to re-enter this command to launch the emulator. Once the emulator is running, navigate to the driver section and select either the wrapper or turnip driver. The wrapper driver works on all devices and supports Vulkan, while the turnip driver is specific to Snapdragon devices and supports OpenGL. Avoid selecting the first option and ensure you press Enter twice to proceed. Next, launch the Termux X11 app. Here you can see the RPCS3 emulator installer, but we need to adjust the resolution. To do this, tap and hold on the Termux X11 app, select Preferences, open the Output Settings, and choose Exact in the Display Resolution mode. Then select the Display Resolution. I recommend using a lower resolution for better performance. Enable Adjust Resolution to Fit Screen and Stretch to Fit Display, and also enable Full Screen mode. Finally, open the keyboard settings and disable the Show Additional Keyboard option, as it is no longer necessary. However, the setup process isn't done yet. Click on File in the top right corner, then select Install Firmware. Navigate to the folder where you stored the firmware file. To download the PS3 firmware, open the Chrome browser and search for PS3 firmware. You will see the official PS3 website in the search results. From there, you can download the firmware very easily. Then select the file and open it. Within a few seconds, it will say that the PS3 firmware has been successfully installed. After that, it will start compiling the PPU modules. Next, let's install games on the emulator. Go to File again, then Add Games, and select the game file from your file manager. It will take roughly three to five minutes to complete the installation. Another important fact, the Olympus emulator does not come with a touchscreen controller. This means you have to use a mouse and keyboard or a game controller plus app. These two apps are highly recommended for using a virtual gamepad. However, they now require root access. Since my device doesn't support rooting, I will use my keyboard via OTG. You can also try using a Bluetooth keyboard. I tried many high-end games, but unfortunately, they either get stuck on loading screens or crash after a while. So, I switched to a few low-end PS3 games. I hope future updates will improve performance, allowing lower configuration devices to run games smoothly. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content. Happy gaming and I'll see you in the next video.